Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1993 to listen to The Darkest Hour by IQ. This one's a highly introspective song, and it's the opening track of their album titled Ever. Uh, really excited to get back into IQ. I love when their turn comes around. They're one of my favorite discoveries from this channel. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
Wow, a really strong and long album opener. Really enjoyed it so much for my ears. We start off with this really cool alternating riff, back and forth, one melody here, here, back, forth, really cool, something unusual. Usually there's a main riff, but here we had two. Um, then we're getting time signature mania. Wow, really hard to uh, move along to it. You know, they were throwing things here and there, but I enjoyed that variety and that tension that started uh, slowly building. Lots of great strong bass by John Jowett. Really enjoyed that. Really added a lot to the song. Um, a feel-good tone here in a lot of the music, most of the music. That was very surprising due to the song title, you know, The Darkest Hour. I was expecting a really dark, brooding, heavy song, but it was not really light, but just very feel-good. And at least for the first section, really surprising. Um, it has that classic 90s rock sound, hard to explain, it's just a feeling you get, a certain pocket that so much from that decade had, especially in the rock music and progressive rock, etc. Um, very nostalgic feel, at least for me. Lots of hope in the instrumentation, like I said, uh, but that's not going to last. It's an introspective song. Right around the halfway point of the song, things got darker. I'll slow down a bit. Of course, I enjoy that section a lot. We start getting variety and more tension. The song never gets, you know, too dark, too depressing, but there's a definitely a noticeable difference there in the turn of the music. Um, I loved the choir sounds way in the back. They didn't last long, but definitely a highlight of the song for me. Of course, it's progressive rock here. We're going to get changes. There were several of them. Uh, by this point, it felt like a whole new song, you know, changes in time signatures, tempos, uh, moods, etc. I really enjoyed that. Uh, definitely more tension and struggle in this section within the melodies. And uh, the narrator clearly has a lot of weight on his shoulders and it's being expressed through the music into my ears. By around the three-quarter mark of the song, another change in tone. This time it was a sad hope in the music. Really interesting juxtaposition. Very sad, very hopeful, something you don't connect normally, so it makes it so musically interesting. Uh, and then we move on to that end section, the last minute or two. Definitely my favorite because we slow down. A lot of the instruments dropped out, and we end up with uh, this amazing, beautiful piano going on. These lush, dreamy keyboard sounds, of course, that provided by Martin Orford, and softer reverb vocals by Peter Nichols. That combination, that trio, was just beautiful. I'm glad it went on for a couple minutes. Wow, a whole different pocket, and, you know, a resolution to the song, still more sadness to the song, more introspection. Really, really nice. Really great harmonies as well, and those chord progressions, ah. Uh, just perfection. They cut straight to my heart. You probably saw my expression as I was enjoying the heck out of those. I also loved how the last two words of the song were basically the song title, you know, just have you thinking at the very end what the core message is about, what the core um, lyrics are about, which we'll check out, but just enjoy the song so much. Plenty of time to deliver what they delivered. It was such a musically rich and highly memorable journey of a song. Okay, here we get a large amount of introspective and soul-searching lyrics detailing the inner struggles we go through while navigating through life. The narrator reflects on both the good and bad that has come into his life. He feels self-confidence and self-regret, and ironically, in his darkest hour, he feels very safe. Yeah, so another wonderful and very satisfying journey by IQ. Uh, they just never seem to miss. They always deliver so much. 
and it's so sonically pleasing. I'm giving this one five golden records. Yes, an A slash A plus for The Darkest Hour by IQ, 1993. Thank you so much, Peter Nichols, Mike Holmes, Martin Orford, John Jowett, and Paul Cook. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this song. Would love to know your opinion. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.